Hello and welcome to the TranslatorsCafe.com channel. In this video, I will introduce the online unit converter on the website for translators, TranslatorsCafe.com. To open the converter, click on the URL below. All TranslatorsCafe.com videos about physical quantities and units for their measurement can be converted using this converter and made in Russian and English. All videos are provided with subtitles in these languages, which allow using them to effectively study technical English. They can also be used to study technical Russian as a foreign language. After the end of the Cold War, many university graduates in the Western countries, whose major was Russian language and literature, were unable to find jobs suitable for them. In 2014, tensions escalated after Ukraine's government was overthrown in the US-backed coup and the Crimean people decided to return to Russia on the referendum. For me, we are making this video in the summer of 2016, and before moving to Canada in the year 2000, I lived in Crimea. For me, it looks like NATO has already started the Second Cold War. NATO incorporates not all of the Eastern Europe that Russia has vacated in the 90s, but even the three former USSR republics and now is preparing to incorporate Ukraine. Nevertheless, I see the silver lining here. The demand for translators and interpreters in the English-Russian pair and English-Ukrainian pair as well has started to increase again. I will talk more about using our videos for studying technical English and Russian later in this video. This converter allows you to quickly and accurately convert units including those for length, mass, volume, temperature, pressure, energy, velocity and speed, and many others. This application is a set of converters for units in physics, science and technology, including units for mechanics, thermodynamics, hydraulics, acoustics, photometry, electrical engineering, magnetism, radiation and radiology. There is also a section for popular converters – length and distance, mass, volume, area, temperature, energy, pressure, power, time, and a currency converter. The last section, miscellaneous converters, includes converters for metric prefixes, data transmission, typography, and volume measures for lumber. To convert one unit into another, choose a section for the units you are converting. Select the converter, suited for your needs. Select the unit from which you are converting, from the list of units on the left. Select the units which you are converting to from the list of units on the right. You probably already noticed that once you've selected the unit from the list, there is a description of this unit, sometimes accompanied by examples. Enter the number for the units you are converting, for example 2, in the from field. The result of the conversion will appear in the field 2, as well as below the from and to fields in the result section. You can also do the opposite and enter a value in the to field. The result will appear in the from field as well as below. And now more about the converter pages. When you open the converter pages, by default you will see the compact calculator view. Sometimes you may need to see the list of all units. To do so, click the Full Table Calculator link. This will open a page with a full list for this converter. If you enter a value in one field, you will see it converted for all fields and displayed in the table format. Sometimes this is very useful. The area on the right side of the page includes information about the general section of physics that the converter covers, the units used within the converter, and information about how to use this converter. Most of the converter pages have additional information about the physical quantity that the unit converter is concerned with, and various applications for the quantity and the units. They can be used to study technical English and Russian as a foreign language. For example, the article for the angular velocity converter describes how angular velocity influences the result of spot computations, how it is used in computer recording devices such as CD recorders, and what angular velocity geostationary satellites reach. And this is not all. If you click the unit definitions on the right side of the page, 
you will be taken to the page that lists all of the units and their definitions for the converter that you selected. There is still more you can do. If you open any converter page in the language other than English, for example, the converter page in Russian, and click the unit definitions in Russian and English, or click the British flag on the right, you can open the page with a list of unit descriptions in English and in Russian. Finally, you can choose the language for the converter by clicking on the current language. This will open a page with a list of languages. If this converter is already translated by volunteer translators, cafe.com translators into a given language, this language will appear in the list in different color, and you can select it. Please keep in mind that translation is currently in progress, so in some cases it may be incomplete. You can find the name of the translator at the bottom of each page. Once again, please note that because all our videos are available in English and Russian, with subtitles in both languages, they can be used to study technical English and technical Russian as foreign languages. I know that our videos are popular among engineering students. If you study engineering, think about whether you should try to do technical translation. Before launching translatorscafe.com in 2002, I worked as a translator for more than 20 years and I can say with certainty that only an engineer can accurately and correctly translate technical documentation. You will find a link to our tutorials below in the description of this video. If you want to self-study a foreign language using one of our videos, you can view the list of terms used in this video before watching it. Then you can try to watch the video without subtitles, closed captions, and try to understand it. After that, you can turn on the subtitles and watch it one more time. If you still cannot understand the spoken language, try to watch the video with subtitles turned on. You can also read the English transcript of the video and its parallel translation into Russian. If you have difficulty converting or translating units on a given page, translatorscafe.com members are happy to help you. Please post a question on our website and you will get a reply within minutes. You will find the link in the description of this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, don't forget to hit the like button. If you have not subscribed yet, Please also consider subscribing, because every subscriber is a bonus for the TranslatorsCafe.com channel. Thank you if you do subscribe. If you like our converter, please use it by clicking on the link below and tell your friends about it.